Hi everyone, welcome to the second um, picture in this um, series of festive food. Um, we are doing this fun little um, tiered um, tray of, I'm trying to think what these are called, um, cake stand isn't it, with different um, treats on it. Now in I want to keep with a slightly um, festive theme on these pictures. I'm trying to think about how to do that on this one. I think what I do is I just get colouring the cakes and then I'll have a think about it. Um, I'm thinking festive colours, reds, greens, that sort of thing maybe for icing. Um, that could be a way to go. So I'm actually going to start with the red. This is number 223. I'm using my um, polychromos again um, because um, they can get nicely sharp into all the little bits. And what I'm thinking, that, oops, I'm just trying to sharpen it and I've dropped it. But what I'm trying thinking about with this one, um, I'm just looking at the number for you, is the deep red, is to do the cakes matching. So I'm going to do a red um, thing on here, thing, circle, whatever that is. I'm going to do the same on this one and this one. So we're going to end up limiting our colour palette, which I think is makes it a bit easier anyway. But if we, if we sort of match up the colours and make them quite Christmassy, I think that will work. Um, this is icing. I'm thinking what we'll do is we'll do a red case on this cupcake. So I'm going to make it a sort of gingham, played, patchwork, not patchwork, tartany type, um, checkered picture, a cake case like this. So I'm just basically drawing some lines on. I think it, then it looks red and white and a bit more Christmassy. This one I'm going to make this some jam here. Or oh, It wouldn't really be red icing, would it? So there is that. So we've got some reds going through. Oh, these two. Let's make these red as well. I don't know what all these items are supposed to be. Um, I'm not really an afternoon tea and cake type person. But yeah, it's a bit of fun, isn't it? Now I want a green colour. Um, hmm. I think this green will go nicely. This is the permanent green. And we're going to do some green items. I don't think we'll do green on everything. Oh, my pencil has nearly run away to the other end of the desk. Come back. Here we go. So, permanent green. So, we've got a leaf here, which I want to do in green. Like that. I'm trying to make it a little bit darker, nearer to the cherry or whatever it is. Um, hmm... I don't think I really want green icing, so I'm going to leave that and not do any more with that green at the minute. I might come back to it. What I want is a sort of cake colour, like a plain cake, you know, one that isn't iced. So I'm grabbing what I think it makes a quite good cake colour is the green gold. Okay, and I'm going to do here this colour and I think it looks quite like a sort of plain sponge cake. You may prefer a different colour, making it a little bit darker under the icing. I'm going to do the same with this one because these look like they've got a drizzle icing and underneath you just have your plain cake. So that's how I'm sort of feeling it anyway. These, I think, are macarons. I'm going to do something different with those. This, I'm going to do here, like it's a sort of pastry case. I think it's like a cherry bakewell. So this is our sort of pastry. It's a little bit pale for pastry. but And this cupcake... I'm thinking maybe this bit is the cake and this bit is the icing because otherwise there's too much icing on that cake and this here cake I've just thought of a way to incorporate a bit more green 
but I'm not going to share it with you yet. You'll have to keep watching. <laughs> now, we've got our icing. Now, icing could be white. It's quite Christmassy to have it as a white colour, but I feel that that's going to be a bit boring and we've, I don't really want to do a background. So what I'm going to do instead is do it chocolate because, yeah, <laughs> nice. And I think the, the um, actually not that one, the um, burnt umber makes quite a good chocolate colour. Just glancing at the time, my boys are due home, but not for an hour. So that's okay. So here's our burnt umber. I'm going to sharpen it a bit more. It's still not very sharp. And we'll make chocolate icing. So I'm just going to do quite a heavy layer because I am going to put some shine on it using a white pen. I think that works better for it if you want to make chocolate. This is going to be quite a rich cream tea, isn't it? All this chocolate. But then actually I find chocolate makes icing a little bit less sickly. But we're all different, aren't we? Now if this is a cherry bake while it's going to be white but I'm going to make it chocolate. As I said I'm going to make them sort of all matching. So the, the only white is going to be in that cupcake case. Now we've got these. Hmm I think I'm going to colour those in the green gold to make them look like the sort of buns. Like my son always likes a iced bun. This could just be a little cake sandwiched with cream um jam. Sorry. Now this one, I'm going to colour it in all brown to make it look like it's a uh, a sort of completely coated in chocolate. I think it almost looks like a mini jelly, but it wouldn't just be sitting on the afternoon tea tray like that if it was. Now these look quite plain, we're going to add some um, pen to put a bit of shine onto our chocolate later but we need to do the, the cake stand, remember the name this time, and we need to do the cake stand first. What I thought was to make it look more festive in my eye is to make it green but I want it to look a little bit shiny, slightly like it's almost metallic green. So I'm going to use this deep cobalt green, I think it's a really good um, deep colour for what I want and I'm going to try and colour each little bit with a bit of white shine. This That tiny bit was quite difficult, if you couldn't get that white shine in the middle use a white pen, it's not going to, it's the same. But here I'm going to fade my green towards the centre and leave some white paper for our shine like that. And here too, try and leave it in the centre. Now here it's a little complex because we have a bit at the back and a bit at the front. What I'm going to try to do is make it darker at the bottom and leave a bit of white at the top of that line. But I think the space is probably too small for me to be able to do it. Hi, I'm back. Sorry, I doesn't probably doesn't feel like I was away to you guys, but I was on the phone for over an hour. My mum called, we have a jolly good catch up. And uh, I just need to get this finished before my boys come in. So I thought I'd get back to it. So I've just filled in those back bits. As I said, I wanted to leave a little tiny white bit at the top. It's really hard. I'm just doing the best I can. And if it isn't there, it isn't there. Once we do the rest, hopefully it will work. So it's not massively important. What I'm going to do is with each of these side pieces, I'm going to make a bit of shine in the middle, a bit like I did on that one. So we want a nice dark layer there, and then less towards the middle, leave some white. And then it looks like shine. We'll do the same on each of these. And then I was just trying to track where my boys are. They're due home. Normally they're home by now, but um, there's a, bu a diversion on their bus. So uh, I just checked and I've got an app for the bus company. 
and it seems to be right and it seems like it's tracking. They're in a place they wouldn't normally be, which makes sense because there's a diversion. On this um, vertical post, I'm going to do a bit of shine in the middle of each bit. So make it dark here and a bit light in the middle there. Now it isn't how light would fall, but hopefully it just looks a bit more metallic looking and uh, or maybe ceramic porcelain something like that but uh, hopefully it looks a bit shiny which is the idea it looks quite bluey this green pencil the deep cobalt green but um i think it's fine i'm happy with that now we're going to do a little bit of white um just to finish it off um I'm going to use the Jelly Roll 05, which is a nice narrow nib, to put some shine on our berries and our chocolate. So just a little touch. Now, what I would advise is to keep the shine on the same side of everything. I'm just going to scribble with that because it doesn't... It, the 05 gets blocked really easily, the nib, and then it doesn't show up very well. But yes, do the shine on the same side of everything and then it looks like the light is catching it all in the right place sort of thing. So I'm putting all mine on the left like I did on my other cake over there. You don't have to keep it the same cake to cake. I mean cake... Um, um, here cake to cake yes but item to item you could do it differently but I'm choosing it to do it the same um, but I'm going to make that a bit dark on there there we go I'm going to keep it that like that quite simple so that is that cake stand so our sort of festive-ish cake stand I think that green might be a little bit bluish might have been better using the hooker, hooker's green pine green juniper green Thallow, dark thallow green, something like that, but I've done it now, <laughs> so it's done. But there we go, there is our next one. I'm really excited about this series. I'm hoping that I can get quite a few done, and then my members will be able to get a compilation video fairly soon. But they may have it already, but I don't know. I have to, it just depends on my recording schedule who's here, who's not. I've got a plumber in tomorrow, so I can't do much, so it's all a bit up in the air. But I've had fun and that's good. And I hope you have too. So have a lovely day. Um, look out for another video this afternoon. But for now, um, happy colouring. <laughs>